Do you still consider trains old-fashioned, even those that ride with the speed of a bullet? With long-distance travel very much preserving the plane in modern culture, a long-distance train as a public transport symbol can be seen as offbeat rather than the go-to option. Japan, though, is determined to change that. Japan's world-breaking Maglev L0 passenger train has been under testing since it was unveiled to the press in November of 2012, achieving 374 miles per hour. The technically advanced train is ultimately intended to run on the Chuo Shinkansen line, a route between Tokyo and Osaka's substantial provincial city. The first phase will run about two-thirds of the way to Nagoya by around 2027. The remaining Osaka stretch comes into play in roughly 2045. It will be nearly 100 years after Japan first looked at maglev technology. How does it feel to ride this rocket? A reporter who previously rode on the super speed train said the feeling was like taking off in a plane with the g-force raising as the speedometer is pushed even higher. But the faster the train runs, the more stable it becomes. The quality of the train ride is superior. Daily, the train would run at a top speed of about 310 miles per hour and is expected to join the two cities in only 40 minutes, less than half today's journey time in Japan's already speedy bullet trains. However, construction costs for the planned lines are astronomical, costing nearly $100 billion just for the stretch to Nagoya, with more than 80% of the route expected to go through costly tunnels. Japan is considering selling its Shinkansen bullet and maglev train systems overseas, with Prime Minister Shinzo Abe playing as a traveler salesman in his bid to revive the economy partly through infrastructure exports. He already was in the United States, touting the technology for a high-speed rail link between New York and Washington. Abe even took Caroline Kennedy, the U.S. ambassador, to Japan on a test ride. This technology will bring great benefits to Japan and hopefully the United States one day, Kennedy declared after the ride. The maglev train is a contender for former President Barack Obama's multi-billion dollar national high-speed rail project. Abe promised Japan would not charge licensing fees in the U.S. for the train, a strong reason for Washington to select the system for a high-speed rail line between Washington, D.C. and Baltimore. The proposed 37-mile link will represent the first phase in the federal government's plan to connect the capital and Boston. Japan began its study on the maglev train system as a national project in 1962 and succeeded in running at 37 miles per hour a decade later.